All right. We're going to take a break here from the traditional Hindustani approach that we've been checking out with Maestro Indrajit Banerjee. And unless we're planning on having a regular gig at an Indian restaurant, most of us probably won't be using these ideas in a traditional Hindustani context. We're going to be playing rock grooves, blues grooves, funk grooves, and we want to get some of that sound. So I'm going to take a moment here <coughs> and demonstrate some of the ways in which one can apply these traditional principles to some of the hip modern music that we're probably going to be playing. We're going to elaborate for a minute on our raga jog, which is probably the most bluesy raga um, and the one that most directly relates to rock and jazz and blues music. So just to review, there's that simple raga. And we're going to use, uh, I'm going to demonstrate in a moment here, all of the ornamentation, the, um, uh, the meaned, the um, uh, mulki, and of course the gamak. In addition, remember that there are many rhythmic concepts that are going to give us that Indian sound. I in taking a rag, practice different melodic sequences. So you might take, and you might go, threes or fours. and create different melodic and rhythmic patterns that way. One of the keys here is focusing on the one. So I'm going to try to, in my little example that's going to come up in a minute, end some of these ideas on the one. And the last thing I want to talk about is a very simple idea that eludes us a lot of the time. We don't have to just use the raga. Uh, I worked for many years and continue to do so with the great Zakir Hussain. And he was the first great master who said, you know, man, just play. I think we're in a world now where, where a lot of these concepts are starting to go together and we want to, you know, embrace that possibility. So I'm going to leave the rag for a moment and you're going to hear me playing more bluesy, more jazzy ideas. And then suddenly I'm going to click back into just the notes in the raga and you'll notice that the mood changes, the feeling changes. And that's a device that's very powerful. So we're going to get a little example going. I'm going to use the ornamentation, melodic patterns, rhythmic ideas, leave the rag, and then come back to the rag. Let's hear how that all sounds in a modern context.